हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन इंडक्शन मोटर मैं सेल्फ गणेश जाधव आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट के के वाग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च नाशिक महाराष्ट्र इंडिया सो इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर वीडियो okay so in this video we are going to study these many topics so i, I will i will uh, make this topic uh, different video for uh, different topics so in the first phase uh, let us have a introduction to the induction motor this is also known as asynchronous machine induction machine or asynchronous machine so let us have a construction details about the uh, asynchronous machine and then we will move forward induction motor so what is the use of induction motor induction motor transforms electrical energy into mechanical energy every machine has a two types one is a motor another is a generator similarly induction machines also have two types induction motor and induction generator induction motor transform electrical energy into the mechanical energy while induction generator transform mechanical energy into the electrical energy okay so main applications of the induction generators are in wind turbines so which is, is very popular nowadays induction motors but now we are going to discuss about the induction motors so induction motor transforms the electrical energy into mechanical energy the three phase induction motors in this particular uh, video we are going to discuss about the three phase induction motor in three phase induction motor are the most commonly and frequently used in the industry it is used in many residential applications commercial applications industrial applications utility applications suppose you are living in one apartment and the uh, pumping pumping motor of your uh, uh, apartment may, may be the three phase induction motor or in some houses may be the single phase induction motor so it can be a part of fan or it can be a part of pump okay so in your house there is a uh, fan which is a, which is running on the single phase in maybe may running on the single phase induction motor it converts any it converts electrical energy into mechanical output okay such as a conveyor mixer winder etc there are many applications so why we are using the induction motor why it is so popular the first and the good reason behind it is simple in design the design of this induction motor is quite simpler than other machines such as the dc machines it is rigid low price as compared to the dc machines as number of parts required in the induction motors are less easy for the maintenance as there is no windings on the rotor in case of the squirrel cage okay so what is the squirrel cage and what is wound rotor that we will see later wide range of power rating it is available from the fractional horsepower to the 10 megawatt of the rating so that is again beauty of the induction motor it runs essentially at the constant speed it is having almost constant speed from the zero to full load that is the speed regulation of this induction motor is almost zero the speed of is the power source speed is power source frequency dependent and this speed is depending upon the power source frequency so the speed is the function of frequency of the supply high power by weight ratio as compared to dc machines power by weight suppose you increase the power weight will also increase in the dc machine same power machine have a larger weight than the induction motor induction motor have a less weight for the same power as compared to the dc machine but what is the major disadvantage but this is but this machine do not easy have a variable speed control it requires variable frequency power because the speed is depending upon frequency hence to adjust the frequency we require a variable power frequency supply which is possible through the power electronic devices only 
okay so that's why we are uh, that's why the induction motor this is the only disadvantage of this induction motor otherwise all are the good advantages since many peoples are preferring the induction motor especially for uh, especially for the constant speed operations so let's see the construction of this induction motor in this construction uh, this is the cut section of the induction motor induction motor have main two parts one is a stator see that this is a stator winding this is a cut section here this winding is cut here so this is the stator winding which is wound for the fixed number of poles and it is a three phase winding so three phase winding have a total six terminals start of start of phase a end of phase a start of phase b end of phase b start of phase c end of phase c so total six terminals start end start end start end these six terminals are available according to our convenience we can make it a star or we can we can make it a delta this winding is 120 degree displaced apart from each other later we will see the details this is the rotor this is a squirrel cage rotor there is no winding on the rotor so instead of that skewed bar on this rotor so if you see the skewed bar which is not exactly parallel to your winding exactly uh, it is somewhat inclined to the shaft it is inclined to the shaft so this is your shaft the shaft is mounted on a bearing so these are the bearings shaft and bearings okay and this is a small air gap in between stator and rotor so this and this is about this is the frame or enclosure of the induction motor so mainly there are two parts stator and rotor this is a terminal box where all terminals of stator see there is no terminals of the rotor as this is a squirrel cage machine there is no terminals of rotor at the outside so in the stator winding design the stator carries the winding which is fed from the three phase supply so this is a stator this is a stator slots these are the stator slots inside these stator slots we ca we construct the winding so this is how the winding is put inside the uh, stator slots and after after winding the stators these machines will look like this stator of the machine will look like this these are the slot insulations which is provided here in each slot there is insulation this is enamel coated winding which is wound for the fixed number of poles and this is the nothing but your motor housing iron core and this is motor housing so it is wound for the definite number of poles it may be two pole machine it may be four pole machine as the speed is also dependent on the pole frequency as well as pole so number of poles will adjust the synchronous speed of the machines we'll see what is the synchronous speed later the greater the number of pole lesser the speed and vice versa if you increase the number of poles inside this so ns ns suppose there are four pole means ns ns that is two pair of pole that is four number of poles then there will be speed is different if we increase the ns pole pairs ns 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 suppose it is a six six poles then the speed will again decrease when the windings are supplied from the three phase supply it produces rotating magnetic field how the rotating magnetic field will be produced that we'll see in the next video the speed of the rotation of the flux this will create a flux inside this winding when it is excited by the three phase supply when the three phase supply is given to this winding through this terminal okay this may be connected in star or this may be connected in delta when three phase supply is given to the winding it creates the flux inside rotating magnetic flux inside this air gap and the speed of that flux that speed of that flux at which it is moving it is given by 120 f by p f is nothing but the frequency which is given uh, frequency of the supply which is connected here and divided by number of poles that is the machines which you wanted for number of poles let frequency is 50 hertz number of poles are 2 so 120 into 50 divided by 2 so synchronous speed is come to 3000 if f is equal to 50 and number of poles are 4 then 120 into 50 divided by 4 it comes to 1500 so it, in, it shows that when number of poles are going to be increases the synchronous speed is going to be decreased but keep in mind number of poles are always even because poles are always coming in pairs so ns so uh, they are always in pairs this this creates a revolving magnetic field and which interacts with the rotor through the mutual induction let us see what are the rotor 
rotor again have a two types one is a squirrel cage type and one is a wound rotor type so what is the squirrel cage type in the squirrel cage rotor these are the two end rings and the laminated core are having the slot laminated core are having the slot and inside this slot there are the conducting bars which is shorted through this end rings so through end rings these are shorted so this end and this end this end is short, all or this end these are shorted here and these ends are shorted here this is the laminated so and each slot carries the copper bar which is shorted why it is a copper bar because the rotor current is uh, rotor uh, because rotor current is going to be flow through this rotor bars okay and it is mounted on the shaft to reduce the humming why this is this this inclined to the shaft why these slots are inclined to the shaft because if it if you make a parallel to the shaft then it will create a humming noise inside the machine by doing the slightly um, uh, sli sliding uh, uh, sliding rotor bars it will reduce the hum uh, humming sound uh, sound and it reduces the magnetic locking uh, again the magnetic lock will not be created between the setter and rotor otherwise motor will not move so it is simple low cost and robust for maintenance it is very simple in construction uh, low cost and robust and it is having the low maintenance another type is phase wound motor in phase wound each slot carries the winding each slot is having the copper winding and this is same as the three phase winding which is on the stator but the number of poles on the rotor is different the number of slots in the rotor is different than the number of slots in the stators so these are the rotor bars these rotor bars are wounded for the three phase um, three phase construction and each phase is connected to the separate slip ring so this slip ring is for r phase y phase b phase and neutral sometimes uh, neutrals may not be carried out uh, outside so r y b sorry these are the ball bearings so this is r slip ring 1 slip ring 2 and slip ring 3 so slip ring 1 slip ring 2 and slip ring 3 which is one of the a phase b phase and c phase so these these uh, bars can be shorted externally this winding can be shorted externally we will see in the wind in the in the construction of this grill cage induction motor so road stator is having the supply uvw likewise rotor is having the supply klm this rotor can be shorted through the external resistance or can be shorted directly so this slip ring will carry one carbon brush on each slip ring and this can be shorted externally through the resistance or without resistance to run the machines why what is the purpose of this it increases the starting torque of the machine and decreases the starting current and it, it controls the speed of the motor and this is generally used in high uh, rating of a high uh, high rated machines so again enclosures and bearing enclosures and bearing is used to fit the stator and rotor and create the air gap in between the stator and rotor bearings are mounted on the shaft to support the rotor and a fan is also mounted on the shaft this fan is the fan is the fan which is mounted on this shaft the fan which is mounted on the shaft may uh, create a cooling inside this pass by passing the air through this uh, air gap so it may uh, provide the cooling to the uh, the cooling to the machines okay so bearings are uh, mounted to support the your shaft okay thank you in the next lecture we will see uh, how the rotating magnetic field is produced inside the induction machine thank you